Alright, another tutorial um, for Windows 7. This is pretty much very easy because I did this on Windows Vista in my old videos. This has been around YouTube and I'm sure all of you guys, Windows users, know this. So um, I'll be showing you in this tutorial how to make a partition on Windows 7, which is the new OS by uh, Microsoft. So by the time you watch this, it might not be a new OS. So this is Windows 7. It's really easy and partitions are like, if you have one hard drive, you can make it into two. So if you want to back up data, you can install another OS or you can reformat your computer while you back up your stuff in your D drive. Um, there will be no, you, it won't take any longer when you format the, the hard drive, the partition, because uh, I'll show it easier this time. So uh, partitions like I showed, if you want separated data or you want to keep private stuff from your family, yeah. So in order to do this, just go to your start menu and where it says computer, right click on computer, click on manage. By the way, before you do this, make sure you have administrative rights on your computer. Make sure you're not a limited account or you will not be able to do this. So once you right click on computer and click on manage, if you get a window popping up yes or no, please click yes. I, I didn't because I disabled the UAC. If you want to disable the UAC, please go to this link if you want to disable that annoying window. So, once computer management pops up, um, it's pretty much similar to Vesta, so this shouldn't be hard. Under storage, where it says disk management, click that. And it should take a while to load. If it takes too long, immediately close computer management if you have that issue. Or restart your computer and redo what I did. So once you have disk management open, you should see one drive or another one before it that says system reserve. So click on the C, which is this one right here. It should only have uh, four letters. Right click on it in order to make a partition. And you should get a bunch of pop-up stuff here. Uh, of course, click to shrink volume. If you do not have this, make clear system restore points and do whatnot. Uh, click on shrink volume. This thing should pop up. If you have a huge hard drive, like one terabyte, this should take about 20, 30 minutes, which is kind of long. But if you have a small hard drive like me, 250 gigabytes, it should take about five minutes. If you have a smaller hard drive, the capacity lower than mine, it should take really fast. So I'll be back once it's done curing. So I'll be back. By the way, if, you, if it comes up saying not responding, just wait for it and it will respond. That's just how it works, I guess. So yeah. Once it's done loading, um, you should get a window like this. So um, it will show a third window here. Enter the amount of space to shrink for your parti partition. Make sure it's a bigger amount of size so you can put in whatever you want. Mine, I partitioned mine to 21 gigabytes. But since this is a demonstration, I'll put a small capacity. So if you want 20 gigabytes, um, make sure you put 20 and then 024, which equals 20 gigabytes. If you want it higher, let's say 50, you put 50, 5024. Oh wait, yeah, wait, 50024 and 50 gigabytes. But if you only want 1 gigabyte or 6 gigabytes, you put 6024. Because in Microsoft, they equal it into 6024 for 1 gigabyte. So yeah, uh, if you want 1 gigabyte, you just put 1024, which is 1 gigabyte, equals to that. And yeah, so once you put the amount of what you want, make sure it's not too big or you will not be able to have room in your first drive, C drive. So after that, just click shrink and it should take a moment. If you put a big amount of size, let's say 50, it's gonna take a while. But since I only put one gigabyte, it should be really fast. So I'll be back once it's done. Once it's done doing its thing, you should see an extra slot. It may be before or after the C drive, but make sure it's after. And it should say, sh you should show a black bar that says one gigabyte or the amount you, you put. So once you see that black one, you click on it and then right click, click on new simple volume. Once you click that, this window should pop up. Click next and leave that to its own. Click next and assign the following drive letter. Um, like over here, it says your my main are all of our main drives are called C, but leave it to that and just give it a letter you want. I put B because A B B become I mean B's after A, so yeah. I mean, never mind, forget it. Uh, click next, name name it the volume label to whatever you want. Let's say backup or crap, whatever you want to put. 
and make sure this box is checkmarked perform a quick format because if it's if you uncheck it and it's going to be a full format it is completely long very long if you if it's bigger so it's kind of useless doing full formats because it's a fresh one so quick format i suggest leave the file system to ntfs and leave it to default so after that's done click next and finish and then it should change its color you should see it a busy sign and once it says formatting this autoplay window should pop up it should show up the name and the letter so once that's done just close this and you should see your new partition just go to your start menu go to computer and you should see your B drive so yeah uh, I'm gonna make a video I have a video showing up right now on how to delete our partition on Windows 7 so yeah go to that video if you want to know how to delete a partition on Windows 7 so goodbye